Hi family, how are you? It's me, Miss Sam. Hold on, let me turn you up. So, you know Joan Rivers' daughter, Melissa? Okay, first of all, you all know who Joan Rivers is, right? Yet another comedian, comedian. Terribly funny, sharp wit, caustic tongue. Now she had a long and illustrious career. But what was her Achilles heel? What was Joan Rivers Achilles heel? Well, she loved plastic surgery. You know, there was a joke that every so often she would have a different face, right? So we have a lady who is advancing in age, who loves plastic surgery. So to many people's minds, she's an easy target, right? Now, Joan joked about everything. Race, class, creed, Jewishness, women, money, men, marriage, divorce, kids, show business, Hollywood, you name it, she joked about it. Every single time, they had an award ceremony, the Grammys, etc. She would talk about people's outfits, people's speeches, what was happening in people's families, etc. And no one reprimanded Joan, because we knew that she was the funny lady. She was hilarious. She was a bitch. She had a sarcastic tongue. But she told the truth, for the most part. Now all of a sudden, one day, Joan makes a joke that goes just that little bit too far. She just, she just overstepped the mark, just a little bit. What did Joan say? Joan said that Michelle Obama was a man. She said that the President of the United States wife, the First Lady, was a transsexual, a transgender woman. A few weeks later, Joan was dead. Pause. So you may ask yourself, well, Miss Sam, how did Joan die? Well, apparently there was an obstruction during a cosmetic non-medical procedure there was an obstruction to her throat you see it's very symbolic that Joan made her living by talking by critiquing by commentary by criticizing by being caustic, by truth telling, but wrapping it up in a joke. And then her voice was obstructed, resulting in her death some weeks later on, attributed to the result of too much cosmetic surgery. 
Now, in the past few weeks, we've been talking about Matthew Perry. We've been doing tarot readings on him, pulling oracle cards. But it's clear to see, again, using Joan as an example, as somebody who commented about political matters, a political figure, somebody in the White House, and not just somebody, but the First Lady of the United States. Michelle Obama and then Joan was dead now some people will say ah oh, miss um, Michelle's a woman of course she's a woman she's had two children that's not what Joan said but of course Joan is not here to tell the tale This attack on comedians, the, the tumultuous, for want of a better word, experiences and lives that these Hollywood court jesters and truth tellers experience and have is horrendous. Many people say, oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to be a politician. But oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to be a comedian either. Because it seems as if comedians in the public eye, in Hollywood, are punished for telling the truth. Even when they wrap it up in a joke, which after all, that is what comedy is about. Making social statements and political statements, but wrapping them up in a way that makes people laugh. Saying it in such a, a hilariously funny and, and outlandish way that it makes people laugh. And so as Joan was walking into that building, walking up those steps and the paparazzi targeted her and said, Joan, what do you think of, you know, transgender, transsexual, etc., you know, this type of thing she said well after well, we already have one in the White House everybody knows that Michelle Obama is a man now the whole point of this video family is not to argue about whether Michelle is a man or not whether she's transgender or not <laughs> oh, this chair is shaking so much whether her tatas are real or not, whether she got the chow chow or not, whether she had children in her womb or not, is not about that. It's about what Joan said and if her death was a direct result of her talking out of out of place, out of turn. Matthew Perry died the other day. Mysterious circumstances. Lenny Bruce, the Jewish comedian who I didn't refer to by name, but I put him on a thumbnail. Hilarious, tremendously funny bittersweet in his comedic way, in his, the, the way he, he had a conversation uh, wearing a suit and with a cigarette in his hand and just kind of the musings, the, the things that he talked about. And he was flogged, character assassinated globally. You can't come to this country. You're banned here, you're banned there, you're banned there. Lenny Bruce. And he was Jewish, by the way. Because there's a narrative that, uh, oh, if you're Jewish, you can get away with anything. Lenny Bruce was Jewish. And they flogged him and castrated him publicly, family. Treated him as if he was nothing. The man died penniless. 
disgraced, humiliated, every minute being handcuffed for this and that. Lenny Bruce, look him up. Comedians are very, very, very much targeted, very much hated, and they walk this tightrope. of what is allowed, what is permitted, and what is prohibited. Again, I'd like to say RIP to Matthew Perry, a funny guy who died in mysterious circumstances. It was the anniversary of Aaron Carter's death uh, yesterday, I believe, and his uh, wee son was taken over to his grave site by uh, the baby mother and that was just the little son he had on a spider-man costume and to see that pulled up my heartstrings to be honest with you what price fame family what price fame And it reminds me of a Jamaican proverb where they say, you know, what is joke to you is death to me. Ah, shit, you put that on. Yes.